Family and friends of Christ, lay down your plans and come together for worship. We set aside our lists, plans, and appointments to be mindfully present in worship. Bring your worries and fears to the table of peace. Rest in comfort of Emmanuel, God with us. We will not be afraid. We will not worry for the Prince of Peace is here among us. Lift up your eyes and see the world as God sees it, full of promise and potential. We open our eyes and our hearts to a new perspective, finding peace in God's hands. Listen, people of promise, come together and praise God. Let us call his name Emmanuel, God with us. Come, let us worship. Jesus Christ, you are the light of the world. The light no darkness can overcome. Stay with us now, for it is evening. And the day almost over. Let your light scatter the darkness and shine within your people
the lifting up of my hands as an offering to you. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense. And may your presence surround us and fill us, so that in union we, we with all creation, we might sing your praise and your love in our lives. The gospel for this evening is from Matthew, the first chapter. Now this is how the birth of Jesus the Messiah came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. The stories of Advent are stories for hard times. Jesus was born amid upheaval and historical change and among people who seemed powerless. But when the world feels hopeless, Advent reminds us God is with us. In chaos, God is is with us. In suffering, God is with us. In uncertainty, God is with us. In whatever we or our family endure, God is with us. There was a man named Joseph who was going to marry a girl named Mary. After marriage, Joseph hoped they would have children together. Joseph was not planning on being a father before they were married. When he heard Mary was going to have a baby, he was afraid. An angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Do not be afraid to embrace this new plan. The angel told Joseph to marry his Mary, to name their baby Jesus, and that Jesus would save God's people. 
The writer of Matthew tells the reader this plan would fulfill a prophecy from the Hebrew Scriptures. And they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. This Advent, we invite you to explore the ways in which Emmanuel, God with us, brings hope, peace, joy, and love to your home, to our community, especially during hard times. Tonight for Open Space, we again have candles for you to light. You can bring forward a financial offering, visit the font for a wet blessing, or add a name to our prayer wall. Take your time. Settle in. This is your open space.
Into a hopeless world, Emmanuel will be born, God with us, hope for all. And hope does not disappoint us, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. Today, we light the candle of hope, because in God's presence, we can find hope. Into a violent world, Emmanuel will be born, God with us, Prince of Peace. And the Prince of Peace tells us, when we become peacemakers, we will be called children of God. Today, we light the candle of peace, because in God's presence, we can find peace. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored, for God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am a servant of my God. I live to do your will. Please stand and join in singing the gospel. Your servants who live out your God. 
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Our Amen. Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Please rise and join in singing together our sending blessing. Bless our God, praise and thanks to you. May God create to bless us and keep us. May Christ be ever light for our lives. May the spirit of love be our guide and path for all of our days. in peace.